Hey guys, welcome back. In previous lectures, we have seen how to set up Sonar Cube and console overview of the Sonar Cube. And in case if we are running Sonar Cube with the different database, how does it work? In this lecture, we are going to see how to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins so that whenever we run any job, it should be able to run the code quality analysis as well. For this, I have prepared list of the steps which we should follow and updated in our GitHub account. Let's go and have a look. This is my GitHub repository and I'm going to share this URL in the description of this video. And if you see here, we have a directory called SonarCube. Under this, we have a file called integrate SonarCube with Jenkins. And here I have list out list of the steps which we should follow. First thing is we need a SonarCube server. Yes, I have already set up a SonarCube server. This is up and running. And the next thing, a Jenkins server. Yes, this is our Jenkins server. These two are up and running. I have launched it on AWS. You can see here Jenkins server and SonarCube. Next thing, on SonarCube, we need to generate a token which can authenticate from our Jenkins system. This authentication token we are going to use on Jenkins. And next, on Jenkins server, first thing is install SonarCube plugin. Next, configure SonarCube credentials. These credentials place, we are going to use this token. Next thing, install Sonar Scanner. In our previous lectures, we were talking about that wherever we have code in that system, we need a Sonar Scanner. That is the reason we are installing it over here because we are going to run the analysis on our Jenkins system. At last, we are going to run the pipeline job to generate the code quality analysis. These are the steps we need to follow and pipeline, I have already created a file for that one and kept it in the same directory that is SonarCube and if I open it over here, this is the pipeline script. I just mentioned list of the steps which we are following. In this, we are going to get the code, build at last SonarCube analysis. These steps, I have copied it from the these steps I have copied it from the SonarCube official documentation itself. If you see Sonar Scanner for Jenkins and uh, here we have a Sonar Scanner for Maven. These are the steps I have copied. Anyway, I'm going to give this link in the description of this video. You can check it out to get more detailed idea. Let's go back and uh, I'm going back to again into our documentation. As per this one, these two steps are already completed. Next thing is we need to generate a SonarCube token. For that, let's jump into our SonarCube server. Here we need to generate a token. We can generate a token for a project. So for that, add a project or you can choose here also add a project. Either way is fine. So I'm choosing this one. And while adding our project, we can integrate this one with the, with the version control systems or else we can choose the manual way. For now, I am going to use the manual way and we need to provide a key name over here. So here we need to provide a key name and display name. I have given demo app project as a key name as well as display name. Next setup and here also we need to provide token name. I am going to give the same name and generate. This has generated a token. This is the token which we are going to use in our Jenkins. Now let's go back to our Jenkins server. Here we need to install plugin. That is what we need to do as per the documentation. So we have completed this step. Now on Jenkins server, install SonarCube plugin. Let's go to Jenkins server and to install plugins, go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins and uh, available. Now let's search for SonarCube. Okay, here you can see SonarCube scanner. This is the one we should install. Install without restart. Installation is successful. Now let's go back and the next step is configure SonarCube credentials and for that manage Jenkins manage credentials Here we need to add credentials that is under Jenkins then global credentials Here we need to add credentials now the credential type what we are having is a key, right? So this is the token and we don't have username or password That is the reason we need to go with the secret text Let's choose this one and uh, the secret text which we are going to copy now. And I'm going to name it as a sonar cube token. So ID and description I have given as a sonar cube token. Okay to add the credentials. Now let's go back to dashboard. Next thing is we need to add our sonar cube to Jenkins. I missed that step to add over here. I will add it. 
so let's go back to manage Jenkins and configure system we should go here to add our sonar cube with the Jenkins and if you scroll down over here if you see here here we have a sonar cube server here we need to enable this checkbox environment variable it should be available for the build environments then add sonar cube here we should provide the name I am going to give sonar cube 8.9 okay 8.9.2 let's take the detailed version that is the version which we are using here you can see here version 8.9.2 so it's easy to identify and url of our sonar cube server so this is the ip address and be careful while using the public ip because it will be keep on changing whenever you reboot your system that's the reason in real world we will be using only private ip addresses Next thing authentication we have already added our token with this token it can authenticate to our sonar cube server that's it now apply and save and one last thing what we need to do is install sonar scanner this installation we can do in the CLI of this Jenkins nothing but log into the Jenkins with the SSH and we can install it over there or else another option is manage Jenkins global tool configuration and uh, if we scroll down over here you can see sonar cube scanner add sonar cube scanner here we can choose install automatically and i am going to name it as a sonar cube scanner 4.6.2 okay so this is another way it is automatically installs this version on our jenkins apply and save that's it we are ready to run our job with the sonar cube analysis our code quality analysis for that let's go and create a new item here i'm going to name it as a sonar cube pipeline and this is a pipeline job and ok and nothing to do over here anyway we have pipeline script let's copy that one we need to do minor changes to our code according to our configurations let me copy it just click on raw and take it then copy it here if you see first thing is we are going to run on any agent anyway we don't have the slave systems that's the reason it will run over here next thing path of our apache maven i have installed my apache maven under this path that is the reason i have mentioned it over here okay if this location is very for your environment you need to change it i will just show you so this is my jenkins server if i run mvn version okay you can see here this is maven home slash bin same thing i have provided over there right so slash opt and uh, apache maven path slash bin let me increase font little bit next thing get code this is the code i am going to use it that is java login app next thing we are going to build the code and to build the code we are going to use a command called mvn clean package and this mvn look for in this path in case in this path maven is not available this build step is going to fail at last sonar cube analysis for this we can define the sonar scanner anyway if if we are installing automatically we can disable this option if we want to enable we can enable and we need to provide the name what we have given in the global tool configuration but i am just disabled it and the next step we are going to use the sonar cube env that is sonar cube 8.9.2 we have given this should be matched to our jenkins system configuration at last we are going to run the maven sonar dot sonar this is the goal we are executing that's it apply and save it let me bring it to normal size and build now once we build this it is going to build our code then it is going to communicate with our sonar cube and uh, generate the reports over there so first thing clone is successful then build is happening if we want to see the things what is going on we can just see the console output build is successful now you can see sonar goal is running okay our build is successful and if we see here analysis successful it has been successfully analyzed our code and we can open this one by going here or else we can open it from here itself okay here you can see the report or else let me open it in the new window same thing you can see this is the report and the overall report is passed okay here also you can see it is passed 
So it has 15 bugs, zero vulnerabilities, and hot spots, code smells, and few other options. Let's open this one for more detailed information. You can see here, this is overall code. These are the bugs, these are the security hotspots, and few other things. And usually this is accessed by the developers and they can review their code over here. Nothing but how many bugs they got and what are those bugs. So these are the bugs which are generated. Next one, if you click on this one, it will give the more detailed where this bug occurred and some recommendations also we are going to get. So this is how we can able to find it. Again, if I go to overview, and uh, if you want to see the all the issues, you can click over here. Here it will list out the all the issues. Next thing, if I go to overall and or else if I go to dashboard. Next thing, how does it generate this report? Next thing, how does it identify the bugs? It is based on the rules. Okay, here we have the list of the rules, right? So for Java, we have the list of the rules. In these rules are applicable by using the quality profiles. I mean to say for Java, we have a quality profile called SonarWay. These rules are applied on our code and among these rules, whatever issues it feels, those are triggered over here. And we can change these quality profiles with the more rules as well. If you see, we have 600 plus Java rules, but 452 are applicable. What I will do, I am going to create a new quality profile for that create. I am going to name it as a test profile for this. This is for Java and create it. While creating, I am going to activate all the rules which are applicable for Java. For that, go to the bulk change option here. I am adding all the rules which are applicable for Java to the test profile. I hope uh, except 6 remaining all are going to get added to this one. Yes, 633 has been added anyway. Now, I am going to run the same code by applying the new profile. For that, I can make it as a default, set it as a default. And you can see the minor changes in this analysis report. I think the bugs could be same, but we can see some of the changes to the current analysis. Okay, just to remember that what we are having here, we have 38 code smells and five security hotspots. Now let's run this job once again. Build now. And let me open it. All right, build is successful. If we scroll down little bit, somewhere we can see the what and all quality profiles are applicable over here. You can see here quality profile for Java test profile. This has been applied. And if we go and check in the previous build, I missed it to show you. There it should be definitely sonar way. Okay, if I go to the end and if I scroll little bit up, yeah, you can see here quality profile sonar way. Now let's go back to our sonar cube and if I click on the Again, sonar cube, and you can see here 95 code smells, bugs is 15 only, but vulnerabilities are 3. Earlier, there were no vulnerabilities. And if I click on over here, here it is saying that you haven't done the any new code to this one, but uh, if I go to the overall, these are the 3 vulnerabilities, 6 security hotspots, 95 code smells. So it has done the more detailed analysis. This is how we are going to use the quality profiles. Similar way, we can use the quality gates. Here, we can change these values according to the project necessity, according to the project necessity, and we can apply these quality gates. According to that, it is going to calculate the bugs vulnerabilities. And if these bugs or vulnerabilities are below to threshold value, it is going to make it as a failed. All right. That is how we can integrate SonarCube with the Jenkins and run the code quality analysis reports. Thanks for watching. All right. Hope this video have. All right. Hope this. All right. Hope you found this video valuable. Please show your support. All right. Hope you found this video valuable and please showcase your support by subscribing to our channel or liking this video. That's how we can deliver more interesting content in our channel. Thank you. See you in the next video.